And now, marine weather around Alaska. Hello, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with your marine weather outlook for the state of Alaska as we finish up the weekend and move into the first full week of November. Checking the sea ice, the ice continues to slowly develop. We have areas of ice, uh, especially around uh, the entrance there of the McKenzie River. There are going to be some very brisk winds across the Arctic coast and extending down along at least uh, the northwestern uh, half of the uh, west side of the mainland. As a result, we expect uh, some blowing snow here along the Arctic coast and then heavy uh, freezing spray as a result of these stronger northeast winds and as they also ride down here along areas of Kotzebue Norton Sound, we expect uh, there also to be areas of heavy freezing spray. The ice just continues to slowly develop as we'd expect at this point uh, in the cold season. Looking at the weather map, there's an area of low pressure that's going to be uh, working along the outer Panhandle coast as we go through late tonight and Sunday. It will be accompanied by some uh, gale force gusty winds as they uh, work their way uh, along areas of the southern Panhandle and the outer southwest coast, including Clarence Strait. And then we also expect Stronger winds here along the Arctic coast, especially from around Point Hope, Point Lay, on up toward uh, Utkiavik and Kaktovik. Northeasterly winds may gust at times uh, up over 30, 40 miles an hour, and that's going to create uh, blowing snow along with, uh, as I said, uh, areas of uh, heavy freezing spray. Low pressure out over the western bearing will continue eastward with a frontal system leading ahead of it. On Sunday, uh, the one low continues back up toward the northern Gulf. It's going to more or less merge with a weaker low that sits off the Kenai uh, coastline. And then by the time we get into Monday, we'll find a weak area of low pressure here out over the northern Gulf. And then this uh, initial, the central bearing low will work its way into around Kuskokwim Bay by early Tuesday morning. With this low uh, just uh, north of the central Aleutians becoming the main dominant low that's going to swing a little further southeast and then back to the northeast and provide some stormier weather here across the North Pacific and Gulf as we head into uh, the middle part of next week. In the meantime, though, Sunday's marine forecast for the Panhandle indicates uh, winds are going to be out of the southeast 25 knots around uh, Ketchikan, uh, Metlakatla. Stronger gust tonight, uh, this Saturday night, but coming down a bit on Sunday. North winds, uh, Stevens Pass uh, on up through Lynn Canal at 20 to 25 knots, waves 4 to 5 feet. The outer course, uh, coast, we expect winds to be turning northerly at around uh, 20 knots with 9 to 10 foot waves as we ride up further north. Uh, winds will be uh, southeast to east around and outside of Yakutat Bay there with waves of 5 to 6 feet. Then for Monday, uh, winds southeasterly around 15 knots for the inner channels with waves of three to maybe four feet tops. Sitka southward, west to northwest winds 15 to 20 knots, waves running right around eight, nine feet. And then south-southeast winds there west of Goose Davis and outside of Yakutat toward Cape Suckling with waves of seven to as high as nine feet. On Sunday, there will be some stronger winds coming up out of Kamishak Bay, the entrance of Cook Inlet northeast of Kodiak City. Uh, look for west to northwest winds to 40 knots, waves 10 to 11 feet there. Again, we have this weak low pressure in this region. Easterly winds, Prince William Sound, I would say east, northeast, 10 knots, two foot waves. Uh, but again, winds turn back more toward the west here uh, along lower Cook Inlet. And then by Monday, uh, we're looking at variable winds around 10 knots uh, outside of uh, Hinchinbrook Entrance, uh, and Prince William Sound off the Kenai Coast, as well as the north end of uh, Cook Inlet, but winds coming out of Cook Inlet will be out of the northwest at 25 knots with waves five to six feet. On Sunday, look for northwesterly winds of 30 to 35 knots across Kodiak Island, waves as high as eight feet there uh, within Shelikoff Strait, and 30 to 35 knot winds extending down through the northern portion of the peninsula and then turning back more toward the west at 30 knots once you get down toward Cold Bay Falls Pass. Waves running four to seven feet on the North Pacific side and as high as seven to 10 feet on the Bering side. And for Monday, winds across the region will generally be out of the west, 15 knots, Shelikoff Strait, 25 knots across the Alaska Peninsula with waves of four, five feet, highest south of uh, Falls Pass to nine feet. And on the Bering side, nine feet or so in the open waters of 
of Bristol Bay as high as 10 to 13 feet as you get there north of Cold Bay. Across the Aleutian chain, winds are going to be generally southwest or west around 30 knots on Sunday. Waves on the North Pacific side uh, generally 10 to 13 feet and running right around 8 to 9 feet on the Bering side. For Monday, winds will be southwesterly across the eastern Aleutians at 25 to 30 knots and then turning more west-northwesterly the further west you get and we expect gale force winds to 35 knots on the south side of the North Pacific side of the Aleutian chain especially from Atka and Adak westward up through Kiska and Shimia. Along the southwest coast, 25 knot northwest winds within Bristol Bay, waves uh, four or five feet there. Uh, Kuskokwim Bay, northwesterly, 20 knots, four foot waves. Look for south winds there, St. Paul, St. George with waves of 10 feet. And then winds turn more northerly out of Norton Sound and off of, uh, look for north northwest winds to 20 knots along uh, the broad Yukon Delta with waves there running a few feet. And then on Monday, westerly winds, Kuskokwim Bay, Bristol Bay to 20 knots, waves five to six feet. We do have that front pushing in with that area of low pressure. Behind the front, winds turn southwesterly to 30 knots with waves as high as 18 feet there surrounding St. Paul and St. George. Easterly winds 10 to 15 knots out of Norton Sound and as we drop down through uh, the Yukon Delta with waves generally running three to four feet. For areas along and south of uh, the Bering Strait, look for northerly winds around 20 to as high as 25 knots, waves four feet or so. As we get into the Chukchi Sea, we're going to see stronger uh, 35 knot to easterly gales along the Arctic coast, Kaktovik through Utkiadvik down through Wainwright, turning more northeasterly 25 to 30 knots and waves running, uh, say, 5 to 8 feet in the lower Chukchi Sea and as high as 8 to 10 feet along uh, areas of the Arctic coast where you have open water and that'll cause a lot of uh, heavy uh, freezing spray. Into Monday, still 35 knot easterly gales along the Arctic coast, Utyadvik through Kaktovik. Easterly winds begin to fall off to about 15 knots or so once you get south of Point Hope with waves in the lower Chukchi Sea running about three feet. And then on the south of the Bering Strait, off of Wales and uh, Port Clarence, east winds five to 10 knots, waves a couple of feet. Northeast winds to 15 knots with waves of four to five feet on the north side of St. Lawrence.